Hi guys, welcome to the video about Snap Admissions. This video is ideally suited for to understand what Snap process is all about, what cutoffs uh, will be there this year, and um, now now that the exam is over, so what should be done in this period? Yep. So this is this video is a part of the seating MDB program, which is the management development program which I launch every year for the GDPI for all the exams for your for all the colleges, IIMs, SPJN, all these colleges. Yep. So. All right. If I compare with last year, what used to happen in Snap? Till earlier, they used to give a call to everyone. Let's say 110 is a cutoff for Snap, so they'll give a call to everyone who are above 110, and then there'll be a no go, go no go gate as a GDPI. Fine, you're selected or not selected. But now, what they're doing? You have your Snap scores, which will be boiling down to 40. Fine. Plus, they will be adding your scores of your personal interview. Plus your writing ability plus plus plus. So your this score does not matter. Fine. So in fact there should not be idly there will not be any cut off. If you have applied for SIBM Pune, you will get a call from Pune if your scores are decent enough or they matches to the required level. Fine. So do don't worry. What I'm trying to say is everyone has got a equal chance to con convert the college. So moving on to the criteria, there are four things which I have said out of for the total hundred marks. Forty marks will be the SNAP score. Academic profile ten marks, written ability test fifteen marks, and personal interaction thirty five marks. Now, what does that mean? Each of them, I'll explain one by one. Yep. So let's start with the uh, score because the fresh you are out of your scores. So obviously, in scores I should talk about. Now, this is my expected safe score. I would say cut off for the exam. So S A B M Pune hundred to one zero five should be a very good score to convert. Then S A M H R D ninety two eighty five. So this is how it will go. Fine. I'm sorry. S I O M should be around seventy five. It's wrong written here. All right. So for your category, whichever category you want to belong, you belong. So you can save that score. Fine. So that's a safe score. This is a very good score to convert. And this is a fighter score. Fighter score means minimum. If you even if you got eighty five marks, you can still convert S I B M Pune, provided you perform well in the remaining stages. I'll talk about each of them one by one. Yep. So going back to the criteria, SNAP score first of all is only forty percent marks. It's not one fifty marks. Yep. What does this mean? That your score out of one eighty will be toned down to forty marks. Yep. So whatever you scored will tone down to forty. All right. And this is how it will work out. For example, if you scored one eighty, you'll get forty marks. One sixty, thirty five. One forty, one twenty. So this is your corresponding score which I've done. Uh, according to the calculator, according to the cal, this calculator. Yep. Yeah. Now most of the students, if we talk about last year, our topper was around 129 marks. So let's say 120 is a very very good score to convert. So this is around 26 marks. 100 scorer is 22 and 80 scorer is 70. The gap between these two people is hardly four marks. Yep. Yeah. So what I'm trying to say here is, two 20 marks here is just equivalent to four marks in the final score. So between 80 marks and 120, the rank one and 120 mean the very good scorer and the last scorer who will get a call from SIBM have got only gap of eight marks. Yep. So eight is the gap. Even if you have 60 marks, the gap is just 12 marks. Fine. Now this gap I can easily cover up with a good par score, academic record. Yep. Suppose I got 80 plus percentage in my 10th, 12th, and my engineering, I can easily cut cut the gap. Fine. So, can we pro profile as we can go? Your tenth uh, marks is weightage is one, twelfth marks weightage is one point five, and double for the weightage of engineering marks. So, I'll just make it last so that you can see. This is all taken from their uh, bulletin, so you can see that, and all your CGPA can be converted accordingly as well. So, tenth, twelfth, and graduation. So, if you are seventy five plus, you're getting three. Three cut two point five times, so you are getting seven point five marks. Fine. So accordingly, whatever you scored, accordingly you will get your marks here. So this ten marks again will be very very helpful to cut the gap. That's why I am predicting the cut off to go down even up to eighty marks, or even a person with eighty can get a way, have a very good chance to convert. So what they're going to do is forty marks for your snap score of one eighty, boil down to forty, and fifteen marks for par boil down to ten. So this fifty mark paper is what is over now. You can't control. Yeah, so half of the damage is done. Your say, uh, snap is over. Your ten, twelfth, and graduation marks are finalized. Yep. So you can't change this mark. So exactly same procedure is followed by K J Sumaya. 
for their admission to their various programs like symbiosis kj sumai is also um, uh, conducting one common entrance exam for all their uh, courses yep. for example if i give you example cmat score cut off out of 400 last year we had a student called pratik who got 314 marks another student who got 240 marks yeah another girl who got 263 marks yep so ideally this guy should be a topper this guy should be number this girl should be number 2 and this guy should be number 3 but this vinod sunavare after adding the gdpi was overall rank 3 this guy was overall rank 63 and this girl was overall rank 120 now how the thing change is all because of your remaining 50% marks <coughs> so written ability test your 15 marks is again open ball game out of that writing skills will be 10 marks so one essay writing and one critical thinking and creativity writing 10 marks fine so if you are joining ce taking mdp program i will take care of all these things so all these things will be taken care of if once if you are a ce taking students or you are planning to join us for the gdpi yep so again this 15 marks is again if your gap is less in the 10 the 8 mark gap which was there between a topper and the last scorer in the simbi exam that can be overtaken by one good essay or a one good creative writing last but not the least the main thing is personal interview personal interview is 35% weightage fine trust me in your snap exam the difference will be hardly 10 8 or 10 marks but here is a major difference and every year snap used to simbi used to give more weightage for the interview last year till last year they never used to disclose that but this year they already told so we weightage for the interview and your written test is almost same so person who have done very well in the written test can screw up his interview and vice versa is also possible if i give you a couple of last year example mayank was one of our students last year he got 10 im calls number of converts zero with two years of work ex he couldn't convert even a single call im calls i'm talking about yeah on the other hand jaspinder singh finally students got 12 im calls converted all 12 of them fine so gdpi is totally open, interview is totally open ball game fine so why the problem is that in snap exam in the written test for any exam everything is in your hand if you score well if you are able to perform well if you are able to mark good questions solve good questions then you can get a get a good score but in the personal interview you have to impress the panelist fine you are giving good answer is not important but he should like your answer is more important fine i am a panelist of almost 30 b scores now fine for from your point of view you might be giving a very, very good interview but from the examiner point of view you might be a kiddish a kiddish answer you might be giving very, very stupid answers fine so it's very very important to score well in the interview so that become more important part yep so last if i compare this thing for snap score everything is over 40 out of 40 don't worry the gap is hardly 8 to 10 marks between a low end scorer and the high end scorer profile this can again is already done but still can add up to the scores written ability test 15 marks totally open game mem last is a personal interview so cmat c uh, snap main thing is your pi fine if you are joining feeding i'll be taking two interviews of each of you per person fine so that we can track or we can score well all right so if you have not done your uh, snap that well no problem your 50% weightage is still wide open game fine if you have done very good in snap great very good but still 50% game is still open for you all right all the best yep so this is our mdp program if you want to join join us you can call us on 9820500380 and log on to more details on cetking.com regarding this mdp program all right thank you all right so in this program we will take care of all the things main thing is your personal interview fine i have been a being a panelist of almost 30 bb schools i totally understand what they expect sitting on the other side of the table across you fine so i'll give you i'll be giving you all those questions i'll be giving you all those answers what they're expecting your duty is to make sure that you stick to that fine so i'm going to give you full proof answers if you're joining us for the personal interview plus we'll be taking around two interview for each of you so that you sail through the uh, stage of uh, gdpi and of course we'll be taking care of the vat as well fine in fact if you can search on the other videos i i, I uploaded a few videos on vat how to prepare for the written ability test because now almost b school almost every b school is moving away from the G, uh, gdpi gds gd is a out phase now everyone is talking about vat 
Yep. So where it become more important for you people? All right. Thank you.